Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at zooming in on the screen with Lion. So screen zoom has been around for a while, but Lion has kind of revamped the entire feature and added all sorts of new things. Let's take a look. So zooming is controlled in system preferences by universal access. Click on that, click on seeing at the top, and then you've got zoom. You can turn it on or off. You can also use option command 8 to turn it on or off. Keyboard shortcut there so you can quickly access it without actually going into the system preferences. Then once you've got it you can zoom in with option command and then the plus or minus or the equals or minus key to zoom in on the screen. Now of course screen capture here for the video is not going to show you what it looks like uh, so you want to check it out for yourself. Now you also have the option to zoom in window which gives you this little window which you can see here uh, that allows you to see stuff inside. Now it, the screen capture is not going to show you but it's actually zooming in and showing me just in that magnifying glass area what I'm seeing. Now I have some other options as well. Click on the options key there and you can set the maximum minimum zoom to make it easier for you to manipulate it. Um, you can uh, choose whether or not preview rectangle shown uh, so you see exactly what portion of the screen you're looking at, um, whether or not images are smoothed and there's a keyboard shortcut for that. Um, and whether or not the zoom automatically jumps to follow keyboard focus which can be kind of handy if you're just typing and you want to just zoom in on the area of the screen where the cursor is. Now you can also determine exactly uh, when the uh, zooming will work. For instance uh, continuously with the pointer or only when the pointer reaches an edge. So uh, you can determine exactly how the screen moves around with your cursor. Now I should point out that if your main purpose for using zooming is to be able to see text on web pages better then you don't need to use that feature at all. When you're on a web page like here at MacMost you can simply zoom in and zoom out using the gestures on your trackpad. Uh, so for instance I can zoom in here on the text and out. Now previously on older browsers uh, this was not that great because it really didn't adjust text and images and, and the layout really well. But with Safari and Lion you can really see that it does a very good job of actually making the text look very nice when you zoom in and it's not disturbing the page layout at all. So if you just want to do this in Safari then gesturing is probably your best bet. Uh, you can also go uh, to use these menu commands or the keyboard commands there to zoom in and out. Um, the old functionality I was talking about would be if you check this off and then you tried to zoom in you could see it kind of breaks the page layout there just to adjust the text. So it's much better to leave that off and let Safari do its natural zooming now which looks good. So there's a look at zooming in Lion. Uh, try it yourself because obviously I can't really show you using screen capture uh, what it looks like um, but it's a very handy technique and a lot of graphic designers and coders and all sorts of different people using Max for all sorts of different reasons find it useful every once in a while to use the zoom feature. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.